Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 118 for this current series with me Craig Barton. Now I've always been a firm believer that if you get the start of your lesson off to, well, a good start, then you're on to a winner. It's that start of the lesson that determines the behaviour, the focus, the engagement and so on of the students. So any resource that enables my lessons to get off to a good start is always going to be a winner with me. And this is simply amazing. Amazing. Math revision, four quick questions, mixed revision skills for years 7 to 11. Now, the first thing that's hooked me in here straight away is the fact that it can be used with lots of different um, year groups, 7 to 11. I've used this in particular with two classes um, over the last couple of months, my year 9s and my year 11s, and I'll talk you through that um, when we look at the resource. So it is a single PowerPoint. There it is there. It's quite a biggie, it takes a while to download, but when you download it, it looks like this. Now, the first thing, I'm just gonna give you a little tip. Um, in PowerPoint, I've found with this resource, it's best to change your uh, slide size, because otherwise some of the um, text doesn't didn't seem to fit on, on my PowerPoint. So I just went to design, I went to slide size, and I changed it to widescreen. You might be all right, but just, just in case you're worried, um, when I did it, some of these words were kind of floating off me, me screen, so I just changed my slide size. Anyway, so each of these, uh, each of these sections um, is um, one of the author's classes, so 10Y1, 11X2, and so on, and the details about those classes um, in the on the resource page itself in the description. But each of the starters um, follows a similar format. Um, they're, they're all themed, so this one, number, algebra, ratio, geometry, and stats, and if we just uh, scroll down here, we've got number, algebra, geometry, stats. So there's always at least four topics, and sometimes for the year 11s, there are um, this ratio in the mix as well. So there they are, they're just slides, but the question is how do we use them? Now the author has um, an excellent piece of advice, and if I just flick back here, you'll see it. Um, students have found these little A6 sheets really useful in the past, usually printed four to a page and used at the start of the lesson. Get them to work on them individually for five minutes, then pair work, then go through the answer on a visualizer. And I literally can't say any better than that. Print these out, um, set up your, your printer so you can do four to a page, quick bit of guillotine in the morning and just either hand these out to your kids as they're coming in the class or have them on the desk ready for them um, when they go. Now I've used these as I say with my year 9s and my year 11s this year. Um, my year 9s are a, a, a pretty decent class, I've had them for a couple of years now, they're, they're fairly focused so I just bang these up on, on the board as, as they come in and I have them printed out and um, ready to go and they just crack on with them and they're pretty neat at setting things out my year 9s. My year 11s on the other hand are a different kettle of fish. Now don't get me wrong, I absolutely love them to bits but flipping out to try and get them to set stuff out neatly and to any basically any excuse for them not to do something that they're quite keen for, for taking. So what I found really useful for these is um, to do something similar than w that we do with um, the Corbett Maths 5 a day. Um, so we do a Corbett Maths 5 a day resource every single day with, with our Year 11 group. And I've got them a separate book for it, um, a little yellow exercise book. Um, we have our normal classwork books, our A4 size, but for maths, but we have um, a load of little yellow leftover A5 size classwork books, the classic ones, you know, with the with the little tiny little squares in there. And we, for our year 11s, we get them all to do the Corbett math stuff in those little yellow books. And I'm getting them to do these in the little yellow books as well. And what I found with that is it just means they take a little bit more pride um, in, in the work. And they see this as kind of a, like a standalone thing that's, that's separate to the classwork. And why, why, why I found that that helps is if their classwork book happens to be scruffy, this little yellow book is always really nicely laid out. And as we're move, I'm recording this just before GCSEs, it'll probably go out after GCSEs, but my year 11s have found that little yellow book really, really he um, helpful for revision with the Corbett maths in there um, and now these excellent puzzles in there. And as I say, as you, as you, as you flick through these, there's, it covers everything. That's the beauty of it. And I like this, it tells you whether it's calculator or non-calculator always different topics to keep them on uh, keep students on the toes and i love the idea of going through it using a visualizer as well that's excellent i'm a huge huge fan um, of, of that resource so there it is not not a lot else really to say about this only the fact that there's over 200 of these and you'll have noticed some kind of blank templates whilst um, whilst we go through this um, if you want to kind of create your own but flipping out there's enough here to keep you going for a good few years so what a wonderful 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 resource it is so there it is math revision four quick questions if you like that hop back onto the resource page and just leave a review or even just a word of thanks for the for the author for creating that and i shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week take care and bye for now